dramatic turn in the Russia investigation. The special counsel's plea deal with Paul Manafort collapsed overnight as Mueller's team accused Manafort of lying repeatedly to investigators. So did prosecutors lose a star witness? Is Manafort playing for a pardon from President Trump? Those are two of the big questions on the table now. We're going to start out with our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas in Washington. Good morning, Pierre. George, good morning. That's right. More intrigue and a dramatic development in the Russia investigation. Paul Manafort is a key government cooperating witness no more. This morning, special counsel Robert Mueller accusing Paul Manafort of not only refusing to cooperate, but of actually lying to investigators. In a filing with the court overnight, Mueller's prosecutor said Manafort committed federal crimes by lying to the Federal Bureau of Investigation and the special counsel's office on a variety of subject matters. Mueller was hoping that Manafort, Trump's former campaign manager, might be able to provide more critical details in his ongoing Russia probe. Manafort was at that infamous Trump Tower meeting where the Russians promised dirt on Hillary Clinton. In a dramatic turnaround in federal court two months ago, Manafort agreed to become a government witness and to plead guilty to conspiracy charges after already having been convicted of tax evasion and bank fraud. But now prosecutors are saying that Manafort should no longer be able to get reduced sentencing for his admissions of guilt, which carries many years in prison for the 69-year-old. Manafort has had a grueling series of confrontations with the special counsel, charged in two separate federal courts on dozens of charges and jailed for allegedly tampering with witnesses. President Trump suggesting that Manafort, who initially went to trial to fight the charges against him, was somehow more noble than other confidants who pled guilty and agreed to cooperate with the special counsel. The day after Manafort was convicted in August, Trump tweeting that his former campaign chairman refused to break and called him a brave man. But less than a month later, Manafort agreed to plead guilty to those conspiracy charges and to cooperate with Mueller. Manafort's attorney said last night in their filing before the court that he had lived up to his cooperation agreement and that he's been truthful since getting his deal. But George Mueller's prosecutors say they will prove in court that Manafort's been lying to them since getting that deal. Some legal experts are already wondering whether Manafort is now holding out for a pardon. Yeah, we'll George. see what evidence they come up with. Okay, Pierre, thanks very much. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, for more on this. So this plea deal collapses overnight. A second possible plea deal with the prosecutors also fell apart yesterday. Jerome Corsi, he's part of this as well. How big a blow is this to the Mueller team? Look, it's never helpful when prospective witnesses go south on you. We don't know exactly what they were going to offer, but what's interesting is how certain they are that Manafort isn't telling them the truth. And they say they're going to be able to document it. Exactly. And that's what's important to remember here is, yes, Manafort could have been a helpful witness. They obviously made a deal with him for a reason. They wanted his cooperation. But the fact that they believe they can now prove that he's not telling them the truth tells you there's a lot out there. There's a lot out there that's documentable. And that's got to be unnerving, I think, uh, both to Manafort and potentially to President Trump. Yeah, because that report, once they put that out, could be a way of showing possible wrongdoing by others in the president's orbit, even if a final report is blocked by the acting attorney general. And that they have documents to back it up, right? So, so, so it belies this whole argument that, oh, well, you know, one person says this, another person says that. Maybe there were differences in, ter in interpretations. You've got to believe that for them to be this definitive on Manafort, that they've got documents, they've got emails, they've got texts, they've got something to back it up. One of the simplest ways to look at this is that even if Manafort lived up to this cooperation deal, he would have been spending up to a decade in prison. So why not go for the pardon from President Trump? Well, look, then you can say, well, wh why didn't he do it at the beginning, right? Why didn't he just say, I'm not going to help, I'm not going to cooperate, I'm not going to assist? Um, but it sure feels like he's looking for a pardon. One final twist there. If there was any communication from the president's stream that a pardon could be coming? Well, look, that could be obstruction of justice, although some would say the pardon power is, uh, is broad enough to say he can do it for whatever reason he wants. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.